Rolls are not essential if you want to edit your videos and you can definitely do your work without using them, but if you want to edit faster and if you want to make your life easier, if you start using rolls, I can guarantee you that there is no way back. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. Today we are going to talk about rolls. And as I said, you can still do your work without using rolls. But if you start working with bigger projects and more complicated ones, you will find that using rolls is really, really helpful. Because with rolls, you can keep track of what you place on your timeline, you can make everything look very neat, and you will be able to avoid what I call the timeline pollution. But let's take everything from the beginning. When you start using roles, what you basically do is that you color code your media on your timeline. You can assign roles to both your video and your audio clips, and you can have various roles to each specific category. For example, for your audio clips, you might have a different role for the music, a different one for the dialogue, and a third one for your sound effects. In general, I find it better to assign the roles at a very early stage of your editing. However, it's important to mention that you can basically assign a role to a clip whenever you want, even at a very late stage of your editing process. But let me show you first how you can assign roles to your media. It's actually very, very simple. So here we are in Final Cut Pro and starting with the audio roles, this can be assigned at the very, very beginning of the editing process when you are importing your media. This is option number one. So let's say that we want to import this file right here, which is a music track. And here you can see all my import settings. But if you go down here, you can see the option assign audio role. By default, Final Cut Pro chooses to go automatically. But if you click on these arrows right here, you can also choose to put one of the following roles, dialogue, effects or music. Well, in this case, it's a music track. So I'm going to click on music and then I'm going to import it to my project. And this is the file we just imported. And as you can see on the browser, we can already see the role that was assigned to this specific file. It's green. And in Final Cut Pro, if you assign a music role to a file, it becomes green. And you can see it as well in the inspector right here. Obviously, if you drag this file on the timeline, you will see that it's going to be green as well. But as I said, this is option number one, to assign a role to an audio clip when you are still importing it. But as I mentioned before, you can always assign roles at any stage of your editing process. So you can also assign roles on your browser or on your timeline. Let's have a look. I have a project right here. So let's say that I want to assign a role to this clip right here, which is a video clip. So the way to do this is by right clicking on your mouse and then you get this menu right here and you have these options, assign audio roles and assign video roles. As we said, this is a video clip, so I'm gonna go here. By default, Final Cut Pro for the video files generates these two roles, titles and video. You can access this menu as well by clicking on modify and assign audio or video roles. I usually prefer to do it straight from my timeline. By the way, these default roles that Final Cut Pro generates, usually they work just fine, but sometimes you might need to create a custom role for your project. So the way to do that is by clicking on Edit Roles. And then this window appears that has the default options divided into two main categories, video and audio. So if we click on the plus symbol right here, we can add a new role and give it the name that works for us and covers our needs. So in this specific case, I want to create a role called screen capture clip. Now, if you hover over the role that you've just created or any other role, to be honest with you, you can see these options right here. So for example, you can see that you can create a sub role. Well, imagine a sub role as a separate category in a single role. To help you understand that a bit better, I think a good example is when it comes to dialogue. You might have your master role called the dialogue, but this dialogue might be between two people. So you might have a sub role called person one and another sub role called person two. 
and I think that this is a good way to actually understand what subroles are. Then you can also choose to change the color of your role. So right here, well, instead of blue, I might want to turn it into red. And then you have the collapse option, which is either you want to see or not the subroles in your master category and then you hit apply now basically what you've done now is that you've created the settings for your roles okay but let's go back to our clip i want to assign a role to this specific one and i can do it from here i can create a new category called screen capture apply and here it is now you might notice that sometimes when you import media on your timeline from your browser there is already a role assigned to your material. Well, a good example of that is when you, for example, want to choose some sound effects from the sound effects library in Final Cut Pro. So let's say that you want to use this alarm for whatever reason. And when you drag it down on your timeline, you will see that it already has a role assigned to it. And it has this teal kind of color. And on this specter, you can see that it's already assigned as an effect. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, roles can be really helpful when it comes to more complicated and longer, bigger projects. So here I have an example of a project that I was working on recently. So this is a pretty long project. It's almost 27 minutes, but because I've assigned all these roles to my material and my files, I know at a glance what is going on on timeline. So I think that this is really amazing and helpful. For example, you can very easily spot the music with a green color. You can very easily spot all the titles with a purple color on top. You can also very easily spot the intro and outro music here with an orange color. In general, I find it very, very easy to navigate within my project and focus on specific areas of it. But another very, very crucial aspect of the roles is when it comes to exporting. But this is something that I actually think it's better to cover in a different video because otherwise this is going to be really, really long and we don't want that. So I promise that I'm going to do a part two and I'm going to cover everything that has to do with roles and exporting roles and how this can be very, very useful to you. So moving on, I want to talk to you about the index and how this is related to the roles on our libraries. So in order to access your index, you can click right here and think about your index as a control center of your timeline. More specifically, through the index, you can control your clips, your tags, and guess what? Your roles. So let's hit on roles and we get this amazing window. So right here we have access to all our roles and what we can do is that we can activate or deactivate a specific role on our timeline. Check this out. Let's say for example that for some reason I want to deactivate the music on my timeline. So I untick this box right here and as you can see immediately the music roll on my timeline becomes gray to indicate that it's off for monitoring purposes we can activate it again at any point or i want to deactivate all my titles for example and they become gray as well. So you can activate or deactivate any video or audio role that you want. So something that you might notice is that the audio roles also have these options right here. So what are these icons? I feel that these icons are there to help you focus on specific roles on your timeline. So what does that mean? As you can see, these files that they have this uh, orange color, which actually are my intro and outro music, they're not aligned. They are not in the same like channel. And the same happens with the music files as well. As you can see, I have this area right here that they are not aligned or right here. So my timeline might be a little bit confusing when I'm working. So let's say that we want to go on my intro music. And if I click on this icon right here, Final Cut Pro generates a lane on my timeline that includes all the files that they belong to this specific role. Same we can do with the music, check it out. 
or the dialogue, for example. And this way, as you understand, you see your audio files in a more clear way. It looks very neat right now, and there is no way that you are going to get confused with your files and everything. Now, the second option, it has to do with the sub roles. It's kind of the same thing, but it has to do with the sub roles. In this specific project, I haven't used sub roles, so, but you get the idea of what I'm talking about. And the third icon, which is my personal favorite of the three, you can use it in order to focus on a specific role on your timeline. Check it out. Let's say that I only want to focus on my music. So if I hit the icon right here, all the other audio roles get minimized. So the only ones that I see in all its glory, it's the one that I've chosen to, the music in this specific case. And this is also another way to have a very neat timeline and focus on the areas that you actually want to focus on without getting confused or distracted by other elements on your timeline. So my friends, this was part one on how to use roles in Final Cut Pro 10. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something new and I hope that you're going to start using roles from now on, mainly if you work in big and complicated projects. Please do that, it's gonna help you out a lot. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please do so, and don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up, it really really helps. So. Thank you so much for watching, stay tuned for part 2 of the same video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye!